Hello everybody, good evening. This is the Object Oriented Programming Group and I'm Sami and my partners are Mahmoud and Muhammad. Let's start with an introduction. This presentation is to explain the design of the software that we made for our next generation vending machine in the concept of OOSAD. Outline the software limitations and what could the software do and introduce our plan for future work that we will do if more resources were available. Now, what does OOSAD mean? Well, it stands for Object Oriented Software Architectural Design. First, we'll talk about our classes. The vending machine that we designed for this project is constructed based on seven classes. One, vending machine. Two, the product, three, the meals, four, the singles, five, the drinks, seven, payment exception, and, uh, sorry, six, payment exception, then seven, product not found exception. The class's meals, singles, drinks are inherited from the class product, which means that the product in the machine is even a meal or a single product or a drink. Product has meals, singles, drinks. The relation between the classes and operations and attributes of each class is shown in figure 1 below in form of a class diagram. And as we see in figure 1, all classes have been created to explain our vending machine and uh, it all has the needed codes and uh, information to, to run the, the vending machine. Now I'll move to the other part which is exception handling. Which has two options. The first one is payment exception. After the customer chooses a product from the menu and inserts the amount for, for the product, if the amount is less, the exception will be considered and A. Amount is not enough. Message will be shown and the software will restart. Second, product not found exception. When the customer enters a product number that doesn't exist, the exception will be considered and A. Product doesn't exist. Message will be displayed. Now I'll let my partner Mahmoud to explain the second part which is user interaction sequence diagram user interaction products are added to the machine from the test file by calling the product using the add product function from the class product for example the meal information will be added to the add product function then the product will be added to the vending machine and ready to be displayed when the user search for it. Figure 2 explains the step of the process in a sequence diagram. Second, when the user attempt to search a product in the machine, the user will ask for the product index the user will be asked for the product index from the class product and the machine will get it for the user. Then the software will look for the product ID and display it for the customer. The search will stop when the product ID matches and product is returned. See figure 3 for search process sequence diagram. When the machine attempts to dispense a product, the machine will search for the product and get the price for the product, accept payment from the customer, and return change if applicable and then the product will be dispensed for the customer and the software will restart figure 4 shows the dispensing process sequence diagram and now with the software transition when the user customer interacts with the software that we designed first a menu will be displayed for the user and he or she will be prompt to choose a product from the menu by 
pressing on the product number. When the user enters the number of the item, the software will search for the product and ask for payment. Then he or she will be prompted to insert the amount of the product in form of cash or coins. In that process, we have a three case, three cases scenario. The first one, if the amount entered equals the price, the software will display a success, take your product message, and restart. If the amount entered is less than the product price, payment exception will be applied, then the software will display exception, the value is not enough to cover the expense, and then the software will restart. If amount enter, if amount enter is more than the product price, the software will calculate the change for the user and return it back and display success, take your product and restart. Figure 5 shows a state transition diagram for the interaction of the user with the software. Our vending machine software's limitations are Number 1. Uh, the vending machine software is designed to allow the customers to only access and see the menu and prices of the meals, all of the meals offered when the program execution is running. The customer will be able to choose an item, insert the payment needed, and receive the chosen item, then they could enjoy their meal. Number two, the software doesn't allow the customer to make any changes on the menu or the prices shown in the vending machine. So the customer can't change the prices or change any item in the menu. The third limitation is the customer can receive the change of their money if they're applicable. For example, if the meal is um, $10 and the customer paid 20, they would receive $10 worth of change. For future work, if uh, more resources were available for us in the group, we first would uh, by a poor but functioning vending machine device to implement our codes on it and test how the codes would function with a real vending machine. Um, second, we would invest in two to five vending machines under the name of Smart Food Productions and fill them up with the products we offer. Third, we would spread the machines around UIT and Durham's campus and test how students would interact with the machines and how much demand um, uh, the meal or the meals offered get. To conclude our presentation, we would like to say that the purpose of this video is to introduce our next generation vending machine design and idea. In the, con in the concept of OO. Moreover, we mentioned that limit we mentioned the limitations of the software and what the customer can and cannot access during the execution process. Also, we mentioned our plan for the future if more resources were available for us. Finally, we would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation and we hope that you like our smart uh, food vending machine design and our ideas for the future thank you very much and have a good one